Hey guys, JV here with a new episode of my Mass Effect Andromeda Pathfinder Guide Series. Today our focus is on power combos, which is a concept that returns from the original trilogy, but it's a little bit different. Not only are power combos really powerful, there's something to craft your power build around and are an absolute necessity on higher difficulties. In this video, we'll discuss how to pull off power combos, how to determine power combo types, and which power combos deal the most damage in certain situations. Don't worry, there are no spoilers in this video. Before we start, quick reminder that you can find Andromeda tips and tricks guides, commentary, multiplayer, and my 100% completion streamed playthrough, which continues tonight. So if any of that content interests you, be sure and subscribe. Let's begin by talking about power abilities in the context of power combos. We know that the game already categorizes abilities by combat, biotics, and tech, but we're going to shift that a little bit and just talk about how these work with power combos. So within that context, we have three different types of power abilities. We have normal abilities that don't do anything with power combos. They have zero effect. We have primer abilities, which set up for a power combo. And then we have detonator abilities, which follow through and actually execute the power combo. Combo. So in order to pull off a power combo, you must hit an enemy with a primer ability and then hit the same enemy or group of enemies that was affected by that primer ability with a detonator power ability. The best way to think of this concept is as a one two punch. Your primer is your one, your detonator is your two. It's kind of like zap them and whack them for you Bioshock fans. It's important to note that most abilities in the game, even the normal ones that don't inherently prime or detonate, can be upgraded along their evolution path to prime or detonate and some can even do both you can even take a primer ability and then further down the tree you can make it a detonator and it can do both so you have a lot of options to work with outside of your powers also your ammo type can prime enemies and i'll definitely note that for you guys when we go through the different combo types just remember if you use a consumable ammo type it can prime your enemy keep in mind you can combo with your squad mates abilities in terms of primers and detonators but we can't control when they use their abilities unfortunately they took that out compared to the original trilogy so it's a lot harder to set that up and it's really random you have to be very quick in order to pull that off there are several different power combo types that you can pull off and we'll go through each of those one by one but it's very important to note when you're going for a specific combo type the only thing that determines that type is the primer ability the detonator has zero effect on the type of power combo you're pulling off of course, your detonator will deal its normal amount of damage like it would otherwise, but it has no other impact. Just to illustrate this example, let's take two abilities. First is Cryo Beam. This is a primer. So if you prime an enemy with Cryo Beam and then you detonate it with Overload, you're going to get a cold combo because you primed it with Cryo Beam. However, if I use Cryo Beam and then detonated it with Lance, I still get a cold combo because that's just how it works. So the detonator does not have any effect on the power combo type. Because the type of detonator isn't super important, we're going to first look at all of the detonator options that you have at your disposal. So starting with the combat sort of category of abilities, you have concussive shot, which is inherently a detonator. You don't need to upgrade this. It automatically detonates. It's got decent damage and decent force. This is actually a pretty good detonator in the grand scheme of things. We also have trip mine. This is the only other combat ability that does happen to detonate but you have to upgrade it all the way out here to detonator. So this will act as a combo detonator, just like any other detonator ability would. That's all we have in the combat tree. Let's move down to biotics now, and we have a lot of options here. So first is throw. This is an inherent detonator. It's got a good amount of force, but its damage really relies on being able to throw people into stuff. And so you can start out immediately by having this detonate your primed abilities. Next, we have charge, which again is an inherent detonator. Really nice ability, especially for Vanguard type profile power setup. So we've got throw, charge. Then we also have shockwave, which is another detonator that you can have work immediately. And then finally, lance, which is another really nice ability. I really like lance. It's a really good uh, damage dealer for biotic type builds. So no other biotic powers can be upgraded to detonate, and I guess that's just something they decided to do, but some of them can be upgraded to prime. We'll talk about those in a little bit, but let's shift our attention to tech abilities now. So first off, we have Overload. This is such a good detonator ability. You can charge it up, deal more damage to chain to other targets. I really do like Overload as a detonator ability. 
You also have Energy Drain, another ability that inherently detonates in order to pull off the power combo. We also have Incinerate, which is inherently a primer, but it can be upgraded at the final rank to detonate your combo. So you can detonate and prime your power combos with Incinerate if you grab that ability. And then we also have Remnant VI, which can be upgraded at the final rank. The top one is Detonating Missiles. This will also trigger and detonate your power combos. Again, the choice doesn't really matter in terms terms of what you choose to detonate your abilities because whatever you use to prime is the power combo that you're going to pull off but damage wise I do have a few favorites first off concussive shot is just really good across the board it's got good damage good force and you know it just deals inherent damage in a pretty uh, nice way I like it and then under biotics Lance is another one that just deals raw damage very good it's got a better amount of force than concussive shot as you can tell I seem to like Lance more than throw even though you can't bend it around corners throw does rely on being able to hit uh, people into other stuff you know it's got damage on world collision it's got force but it doesn't have inherent damage and so that's why I tend to favor Lance over throw and then in the tech tree you've got a few really good options that I like overload incinerate this is just bread and butter if you want to be able to prime people and then detonate them very easily and you want to go with the tech focus these two abilities are hard to you know compete with that's not to say other detonators aren't useful they are just more situational I think these are universally good now let's talk about power combo types. There are four different types and all of them produce an AOE effect. Some of them have lingering effects and we'll talk about those, but all of these produce a big burst of damage that if any enemies are grouped, they are all going to get. So first off is the fire combo. Fire combos deal high initial burst damage with that AOE, followed by a 10 second damage over time burn. And again, that travels to nearby enemies if they're caught in it, and fire is great against armored enemies as it always has been. If you count the 10 second burn damage that the fire combo gives you, this is the highest damage power combo in the game period. It's a fire combo. So that means if your enemy happens to stay alive for 10 seconds and you deal that full 10 second burn damage there's nothing that's going to compete in terms of damage the thing is if you're playing on normal or lower you're going to be killing your enemies pretty quickly they're not going to last for 10 seconds unless it's a really tough enemy right there are four different abilities that allow you to prime your target for a fire combo first off is incinerate like we already talked about inherently this is a primer you're going to get it at the initial rank and this is a really good primer i really do like incinerate it's very good in this game of course you also have flamethrower down here it's another primer this is far more of an up close ability and you do need to be within a you know a fairly close range in order to actually hit people with the flamethrower so it's a little bit of a different utility and use than incinerate but it does the same basic thing you also have assault turret which you can upgrade to go ahead and give your enemies prime them for a fire combo with flamethrower so your assault turret will be using a similar kind of effect that the flamethrower ability has and you'll be priming up your targets for a fire combo the other way is through incendiary ammo like we talked about before you can set up incendiary ammo as a consumable and that will also give you the same effect and set up for a fire combo so across the board, you can tell that fire combos do require you to get some tech abilities unless you invest heavily in incendiary ammo. And honestly, the consumable packs, they don't last that long, especially depending on the type of weapon that you're using. If you got a small clip size, then you're going to burn through that fairly quickly. Of course, you've got higher ranks that last longer and you can go and buy some. You can get the AVP cryopod to deliver consumables to you. So you can theoretically get a lot of incendiary ammo, but the surefire way to always have a fire combo primer is by having one of the tech abilities keep in mind that fire combos will only work against regular health and armored enemies so red bars or yellow bars they don't work on shields first you have to get through the shield in order to pull them off next we have cold power combos which deal decent damage and slow enemies that are caught in the aoe blast and the lingering effect is that armored enemies take more damage from the cold effect so it's kind of like a debuff if you have a lot of armored enemies grouped together this is probably a good idea in the same way that the fire Fire combo is however this cold combo is not going to freeze enemies like cryo beam would for example so definitely don't expect that the cold combo primer options are cryo beam of course and I really like this one it's got kind of an infinite distance and if you can actually see your targets health and what you know they are in their name then you can actually hit them with the cryo beam so this is a pretty good ability and you can buff it up but really it's all about I mean inherently it's going to give you the effect of you know priming an enemy for a cold combo and then you've also got assault 
turret, which you can also upgrade instead of doing fire combo priming, it can do cold combo priming. So really it's either or with cryo ammo, you can do that. And also with the cryo ammo consumable, just like with the incendiary ammo, you can prime enemies with the cryo ammo for a cold combo. And really, like I, like I mentioned with the other fire combo, this is all tech related unless you focus on cryo ammo. So cryo ammo again is less reliable. You have to, you know, rely on other things to get you a lot of those consumables. But by and large, you're going to be using these abilities in order to prime people for a cold combo. Keep in mind, same thing with fire combos. Cryo only works against red and yellow barred enemies, normal health and armor. If you're facing a shielded enemy, you have to get through the shields first. The next type of power combo is the biotic combo, and this is the highest initial damage combo. However, there's no damage over time or ground effect. So if we apply the same kind of logic that I did with the fire combo, if you're just on normal or a lower difficulty, the biotic combo is probably going to cause the most damage to the most amount of enemies. It just deals the most amount of burst damage at the beginning, but there's no lingering effect afterwards. A few side notes with the biotic combos, if you look at the containment passive at the very bottom of the biotics tree, then scroll over to rank 5 concussive detonation, this makes your biotic combos actually knock down unarmored, unshielded, normal sized enemies. So that's a, an additional thing that you can actually do if you go for biotic combos. And then shifting our attention over to the added profile at the bottom here, we have biotic echoes, which has biotic combos setting off additional explosions on each enemy that they touch. So you can really enhance your biotic combos if you specialize specifically in biotics and the adept profile. Now, similarly to biotic detonators, there's also a lot of different biotic primers. So first off at the very top, we have pull, which has two different functions. If you tap it, it just lifts enemies into the air and primes them. If you hold it, it still you know primes them, but it drags you towards the user. And so this is what you can do with pull. It's an ex excellent primer, really a good use across the board. My next favorite one, and probably one of my favorite abilities in the game, is Annihilation, which primes enemies for combo detonations. This is kind of like an AoE primer, very good with Vanguard-type profiles. It's one of my favorites, like I said. And then, of course, you've got the classic Singularity, which is going to prime uh, enemies just like it did in the original trilogy. So if you're able to throw this down, you're able to prime multiple enemies and really take advantage of AoE biotic explosions with these biotic combos. Of course, we've got a few more abilities you can actually upgrade to also prime. You you can upgrade throw to prime at the fifth rank with duration so it increases the duration which means your enemies are going to be thrown a lot further and you have the opportunity to actually detonate uh, with another ability so throw can both detonate and prime when upgraded you also have Nova, which inherently doesn't have any kind of property like that. But if you grab Seismic Nova, which lifts enemies or sorry, it knocks them to the ground, it'll also prime them. I was actually thinking of Shockwave, which is the next one we're looking at right here. Shockwave can be upgraded to also prime in addition to detonate like it does inherently. And this one will suspend enemies in midair and prime them for combo detonation. So really, if you're going to be pulling off uh, biotic combos, you have to grab biotic abilities. There's no warp ammo or anything like in uh, like that in this game. There's no workaround. But as you can tell, there's a lot of very powerful biotic combinations between primers and detonators. The only drawback for biotic combos is they only work against red barred normal health enemies. You have to get through armor or shields first in order to pull these off. The final power combo type is the tech combo, which is a sort of electrical shock combo that deals huge AOE damage to shields, anyone that's caught in it, but it deals low damage to normal health and armored enemies. So it's very situational in that way. It also leaves an electrical AOE shock on the ground that stuns enemies and deals some damage over time, not on the level of the fire combo, power combo explosion, but it's definitely, you know, deals a decent amount of damage in that respect. In terms of primers, interestingly enough, we're starting in the combat tree. There's two different abilities that you can upgrade to give you a tech combo. First is Barricade. At the final rank, you can grab Electric Defense, which will prime enemies for a tech combo. Definitely an interesting method there. You also have Trip Mines, which at the very final rank, instead of going for the Detonator option like we talked about before, you can go for the EMP, which will also prepare enemies for a tech combo. So going over to the tech tree, where you obviously would expect expect these things. We actually don't have any abilities that inherently prime enemies for a combo. You have to upgrade them. 
And that's what's kind of tricky about the tech combo. However, before we talk about that, Overload, I don't know if this is a glitch or something, but there is a split second where you can actually pull off a tech combo by priming with Overload. And again, it's not specifically, um, you know, explicitly shown right here at all, but you can certainly do that. I think that's uh, kind of interesting. So you can upgrade Energy Drain, which is inherently a detonator. At rank five, you can make it a primer as well if you'd like to pull off that combo. Your final option is with the Remnant VI. So again, instead of choosing to make this a detonator, you can make it a primer with Electric B at the final rank and so obviously we also have disruptor ammo so if you have that consumable and you can reasonably equip it you know a decent amount you could also prime enemies for tech combos that ways against shields I think that's definitely a useful thing to keep in mind but generally speaking with tech combos you do have to upgrade into them in order to actual actually pull them off there is that little bit of split second with overload that you can definitely take advantage of but generally speaking you're gonna have to use some combat you know abilities up upgrade them near the end of their path or tech abilities in order to pull off a tech combo. I will say a big benefit of the tech combo is that you can use this on all defenses. So whether your enemy is shielded, whether they have armor or just regular health, they will get primed and then detonated with a tech combo. So there are no restrictions there. So just some closing thoughts on power combos. Is there a best combo just across the board in most situations? And if I had to say, if I had to pick two for just raw damage, I would say fire or biotic. They are just really good across a broad range of different things to deal with of course the weaknesses for both fire and combo are against shields so if you see a shielded enemy you might want to throw on disruptor ammo and then use fire or biotic combos to deal the real damage i think situationally yes there is always a best combo to use for whatever kind of enemy that you're facing if you're facing armored enemies you definitely want to be using fire or cold combos that's just going to get it done it's going to weaken them you're going to get through that armor a lot more easily with other combos if you're facing shielded enemies then then tech is what you want to go for. You want to go for those tech combos, although that's a little more elusive, like I explained. Finally, if you want to get grouped enemies, obviously all of the combos give AOE effects, but fire or tech combos are usually pretty good against grouped enemies. So situationally, yes, there's usually a best combo to go for, but of course we have limited skill points until you get to higher levels where you can truly set different favorites and really pull off a large variety of combos. Let me know in the comment section below, what is your favorite power combo so far? What is your one-two punch? For me, it's Annihilation and Shockwave with a Vanguard type setup and that profile. I really do like getting up close with uh, Charge, putting on Annihilation, and then detonating people with Shockwave. It feels really powerful, feels really aggressive, high risk, high reward, and I found a lot of fun with that kind of setup. So let me know, what is your favorite power combo in the comment section below? If you learned something new or just enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button, and also don't forget to subscribe for Andromeda tips and tricks content, commentary, multiplayer, and my 100% streamed playthrough. If that content interests you, be sure and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.